Building your own AI solutions has never been easier. Vertex AI on Google Cloud allows you to build your own AI solutions with no or low code. Take advantage of the free credits now. Let's go. All right, so the million dollar question, how to implement it? Well, I'm gonna give a really simple example of how to get started with a Google Cloud Platform, opening up Vertex AI, and having a look at some of the pre-built models that are available. So this is gonna be a quick walkthrough. I will be digging into this a lot more in upcoming videos. Leave a comment of which areas you'd like me to dig into a bit more, and let's get going. The easiest way to do it is to just sign up for a um, Google Cloud platform, and you get a, three, a free $300 credit. Um, so let's do that, and I can walk you through that for a second. All right, so what you wanna do is pop in your uh, details. Okay, all right, just pop in your payment details and let's start the free trial. Go next and what describes your role? I am the engineer and the developer. I'm actually everything, but that's okay. It's got done. All right, so we've now got $491 of credits because I'm in New Zealand, so it's obviously a little bit more expires in March, what happens when the trial ends? All right, so we can now work on this over here. So go to the Google Cloud over here. All right, so we can go down to Vertex AI. What we're gonna do is really quickly show you how simple it is to create a generative AI model um, that you can use in your organization. And I'm not gonna go through everything, but here's basically the notebooks, the gardens, the generative studio, and here's your model ops um, um, framework. All right, so what we're gonna do is go click over here, Generative AI Studio, click on Try. And what we wanna do is we wanna create a um, language model. All right, so access at Palm API for chat and co-generation, summarization, and more. So this is pretty much like your ChatGPT or Google Bard, um, and it's gonna be obviously local to your instance now. So click on Open. Right, so what we're gonna do now is create a prompt. So if you've saved any prompts, you can just go over here. So my prompts, I've created a knowledge base which I've uh, been using. And uh, what we can go do is go back to get started. All right, so if you wanted to have a look at some prompt examples, uh, you can scroll down in your page over here. But what I thought we would do is, let's just create a company chatbot. And what this is gonna enable us to do is have some of our information available as context and we'll be able to chat with it. So what we're gonna do now is look at the chat bot that's available. And um, before we get into too much detail over here, what we wanna do is just um, note that this over here has a space where you can upload your own information. And here's the responses, so we, you can test it out. And on the right hand side is um, some parameters and settings that you want to, um, uh, that you might want to adjust. Um, I won't go through everything over here, but what we'll do is just make sure that we're using the correct model. So let's just use the chat bison, which is part of the Palm um, library. And that's always good. All right, temperature is really about understanding how um, uh, creative your output is gonna be. So 0 0.1 is gonna be as close to accurate as possible, and it's not gonna come up with any sort of creative stuff. If you wanna get creative, put it as one, uh, or 0.7 to 0.9 and um, ultimately any tokens that you want to output. Um, I won't go through the top Ks and top Ps, those are probabilities, um, which we can get into in the next section. And uh, yeah, we'll just pop it in like that. All right, so the really, really simple interface over here, what we can do is just get rid of this context over here. And let's pop in my company information. So first four data is a consulting company helping AI. Um, and helping businesses adopt AI. So this is something that we can pop in over here and make sure it looks all right. Okay, so let's clear the conversation. So it doesn't know what I've copied in, it has no idea. All right, so what we can do over here is just say, um, what is first for data? And hit send message. 
All right, so there we go. So it's basically taken the information I've popped into the context and it's now come up with a bit of a response. Um, very simple example over here of how you can use your own data. There's ultimately bigger and better data sets that you can continue to um, evolve, add other different pieces of documentation from your server or from your uh, company uh, information that passes all your governance, security and privacy. So don't just go upload things. Make sure you do it pr do it properly. Um, that's what I'm ultimately here for, is help you and guide you through best practice and ultimately get the right answers. All right, let's just ask it another question over here. Um, when was it founded? All right, so founded in 2018, that's correct. I built a large um, uh, claims uh, automation process for a very big insurance company in New Zealand. Uh, so that's all 100% correct. So as you can see, working pretty well. Um, I didn't even have to do anything. All right, so what we can do here is click on save and pop the prompt name in here. And we're just gonna call this first for data demo and hit save. All right, so once the prompt has been saved, uh, what we'll be doing in the next videos is to look at how to act actually implement this and create endpoints. So click on view code, and what we'll do is look at the programmatic ways of implementing this in your organization. All right, we're probably gonna do a curl call uh, from our website, but next video, stay tuned for that. Well, that's the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Well, the benefits of having an all-in-one AI and MLOps space for delivering and building AI is brilliant. You don't need to reinvent the wheel, come up with your own frameworks, infrastructure and security requirements. There's so many models that can be plugged into your business. You can start by selecting a single domain, get a little skunk work team going. And if you enjoy this video, check out my website. I have links to information to get you going uh, with some real world scenarios.